back to my channel, Motosokas. Hey, I know you missed your favorite unicorn in all the land. Oh, be quiet. Damn, noisy ass neighborhood. I know you missed me. Hi. I just want to make sure you're able to see this whole Janet Jackson vibe. Do you see it? Can you catch it? Are you here? I am for you. I can't believe you. I'm joking. I already got to look up the lyrics. I actually saw this on the rumor report today. Charlemagne and DJ Envy, they were talking about, you know, basically people in Diddy's comment section going ham. And at first, I was really just like, all right, Charlemagne, you need to shut up. Diddy posted a picture of his ex, Kim Porter. And um, he posted a picture. He basically said he remembers her flying to see him for a video shoot. Just talked about their love, how much he loved her. And people started leaving comments. I, and I'm, I'm tired of seeing Diddy go back and forth with these people because Diddy don't owe nobody no explanation as to why he did certain things in his life the way he did them. So one of the comments was, you had all this love for her secretly, but yet dated other women when she was living. Oh, God. Shut up. So Diddy responded, um, and then the lady was like, why didn't you marry her? Diddy responded, I was scared. And somebody else said, and you never have married her. Why? Yes, I said it. You fake my opinion. Diddy responded, never fake. I wasn't ready, and that's that. I'm ready now, but it's too late. Too late. Don't be like me. Does Diddy understand that none of these people really care? They just are happy to be getting a, a, a response from Diddy? Then somebody said, definitely should have made her wifey. Diddy responded, facts. Diddy, they only leave in those kind of comments because you're responding to people leaving those kind of comments. And yeah, then somebody says, but you ended up messing with J-Lo at that time. Diddy said, yes, I did. So oh, what? Diddy responded. I don't know, for some reason I just always want to disagree with Charlamagne. I don't know why. And you know, I went to his page myself and I saw, you know, the post with him and Kim Porter. And ever since the, you know, the passing of Kim Porter, Diddy has literally just been spiraling down this almost depressed or maybe even depressed. I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose anyone, but seemingly depressed state. Right. And he's really been wearing his heart on his sleeve. And we, we've been seeing this man who is usually this very confident, very cocky, you know, very productive guy. We're seeing his emotions. And this is something that we're not really used to seeing from Diddy and his regret. And he's literally saying, you know, I regret not marrying this woman. I regret cheating on this woman. I regret not taking this woman serious. Now, we all know how the trolls get. The trolls get the trolling. Well, you should have married her. Or, well, it's too late. Or, well, you, you know, just dragging him for filth. And on one hand, I feel like, dang, you know, the trolls got a point. You don't want to wait until someone no longer can feel the love to love them. That's one thing I'm so big on, loving people while they're still here, giving people flowers while they can still smell them. Because unfortunately, guys, this is a part of life. We were all brought into this world by the creator and we will all go back to the creator when it's all said and done. And you want to make sure if you love someone, you are loving them every day to the T because tomorrow is truly not promised. No, I, I don't know. I, I guess the trolls feel like, you know, it's their duty to make diddy feel you know like shit to one extent i i you know i agree because i don't know you know i don't know if diddy has people in his life or had people in his life at the time that was just like bro like you got a beautiful black woman at home take care of that take care of your home be loyal to your home keep that queen marry that queen i don't know if he had people in his life pushing him to do that okay what we do know is, you know, we know the tea, we know the drama, we know he cheated on her with J-Lo, you know, they had their whole thing, and then he, you know, J-Lo broke up with him, and then he went back with her, had some more beautiful babies, and then pop, here come Cassie, and it's like, okay, we just never heard of, you know, the beautiful Kim Porter again, and it's just like, you know, when you think about it in that aspect, it's kind of just like, dang, you know, yeah, like, you're wrong for that. We also have to understand that this man is grieving, okay? This man lost the mother of his children. To me personally, I don't necessarily believe in getting back at people because I feel like life is gonna do that. Like, like life is gonna happen for itself. Like, do you, like, I feel like people need to understand that Diddy has to live every single day of his life. Every day of life, he has to live knowing that what he did to the mother of his children and what he didn't do for the mother of his children. You understand? I feel like that in itself is enough punishment. You you have to raise these girls on your own now. You know what I mean? You have to look at these beautiful girls. Like, I, I child. To me, in my personal opinion, I think that that's enough punishment. And I, I kind of agree with Charlemagne. I feel like at this point, people were kind of just trolling even harder because they know he's at such a low and vulnerable state. Like Diddy ain't even diddying these people. And you know how Diddy get the diddying. Diddy ain't even diddying. He's like agreeing. He's like, yo, you're right. 
yeah i lost a good one yeah i did cheat with j-lo damn i fucked up like we don't now we don't we don't want to push and you know how social media and you know we don't want to push diddy into or anyone into you know a, a harmful state we don't want to push anyone into a harmful state at first i didn't agree with charlamagne i was like no because he's wrong he's wrong but i i do agree with charlamagne people are just taking this trolling to the next level child y'all know i do my videos i'm every single video gets trolled any video that gets more than twenty thousand views all right i'm out here dealing with these trolls and the thing is when you're someone to that extent where you have millions of viewers you can't really control the trolls like i could control a little bit i ain't got a million of y'all yet you know we, we gonna get there to god be the glory we gonna get to the millions but i don't got a million yet so i, I could <laughs> hold on time out what you said i read that blocks was good you know these are my glory days these are my glory days I, I don't mind being a small youtuber these are my glory days i could do what i want a little bit i got a little bit more freedom okay we just have to be careful with our opinions and we just have to be careful how we just attack 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 it's like y'all attacking this man for the decisions that he made 10 plus years ago is not gonna bring her back like i get what y'all saying i get y'all frustration i'm sure he gets it at this point i just think we need to chill you don't have to remind him every time he posts what a fuck boy he was to her he knows it she knows it you know it's been years since they've been together they've been co-parenting for this long up until her sadly passing away so they've been you know working it out i don't know the ins and outs of their relationship because honestly i have never really heard much from her i just remember seeing the twins and i'm like wait who the mama and what i've known and from you know me growing up and paying attention i've only known the cassie story i didn't know before that i was just too young i didn't know the cassie story so I was just more so like, wait, so who are these twins? It's been years since they've been together. Like, let this man grieve. Like, he will he will grieve this for the rest of his life. It's like no shade, no tea, but a lot of y'all that's commenting, y'all look y'all got some fuckboyisms in your DNAs as well. Okay? And another thing, are y'all coming for J-Lo as hard as y'all coming for Diddy? Because please don't forget, J-Lo knew that he had a baby and a beautiful baby mama. Kim said during an interview with Notorious Magazine that they planned on getting married, but weren't in a rush. The couple got pregnant in 1997, and in 1998, they welcomed their first child together, Christian. Around this time, Diddy started working with rising actress and singer Jennifer Lopez and was producing her debut album, On The Six, all while Diddy was still living with Kim. Kim found out about their romance when a friend called her, and upon hearing the news, she would kick him out of his own home, where they both were living. His reason for stepping out on their relationship was because he wanted a more exciting relationship, and he claims that Kim was just too laid back. Even if you were broke, my love don't cost a thing. I'm just saying, I don't want y'all to go and, you know, harass J-Lo now. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, let the man grieve in peace. Nobody has a perfect past. I wish we all were perfect. I wish, I just wish everybody on earth was perfect and behaved perfectly and did everything perfect and perfect and perfect and perfect and perfect. And perfect. I like to think that I am sometimes, but I'm not, okay? I'm crazy as hell. I shut up sometimes. I talk too much sometimes. I cry a lot. I'm a crybaby. What else? Yeah, nobody's perfect you know let me know what y'all thought of this video how do you feel about how diddy is kind of like publicly just you know regretting the fact that he didn't take this black woman seriously no advice to my brothers out there you know i know sometimes the grass be looking greener on the other side i know sometimes okay your lady might be getting on your nerves but if this is someone who you really honor and really respect, you will take the steps to not only, you know, just to honor the relationship. Not everyone wants to get married. You you know, that's between y'all two. But do what you need to do to keep that lady. Put that woman first. know what y'all think of the trolls and not all trolls it wasn't all trolls it's some real life people that's really mad at diddy because of how he played the beautiful kim porter y'all let me know how y'all feel do y'all feel he deserved this backlash or y'all like me like listen let karma be his backlash you go on ahead and you know 
double tap somewhere else rest in peace to the beautiful kim porter rest in peace to the legend the king nipsey hustle you guys i know you guys want me to do a video on that guys i am honestly still in disbelief and in shock myself also i i, I just want to i i know a lot of times we just become so desensitized to death i am very sensitive okay you know i just want to give the family like this literally just happened you guys i want to give the family the respect that they deserve and their time to process when the family comes out and speaks out you know i think that will it will be okay for me to do so as well i just don't want to you know come on here run off emotions y'all know i get really emotional i don't want to run up on here with fake news and theories and assumptions what we all can do is to definitely ride for nipsey you know he said if he was to die he want us to ride for him and how do we ride for him by continuing to spread that message that he was preaching while he was here on this earth you guys tomorrow is not promised love on your loved ones say thank you to people who apologize when you need to tomorrow is not promised god's love is forever and god willing i will see you at the next one